start by telling us about the challenges of integrating a character as unique as Ant-Man into the wider Marvel Cinema Universe. Well, yeah, it's a big responsibility. I felt it because I read Ant-Man comics as a kid. I loved Ant-Man and I, I love those characters. So, you know, I felt a real responsibility to, to make the movie version of them as great as possible. You talk a little bit about the dynamic between the central trio, Hope, Scott and Hank, and, and the important casting of each of those roles. Well, it's a tricky dynamic because these are three characters that have a very uneasy alliance. You know, at the beginning of the movie, Hank Pym, Michael Douglas's character, and, and Hope Van Dyne, his daughter, played by Evangeline Lilly, they have a very tricky relationship. They've been estranged for a while and now they've been brought back together to try and stop something that's larger than both of them. Um, and really, the fun thing about the movie is the, the solution to Hank Pym's problem he recruits Scott Lang, but the solution is right under his nose. It's his daughter. He just can't see it yet. Well, listen, she is a very strong character in the comic books. And, you know, uh, I think one of the things that I've always done in my movies is, is have very complex, strong female characters in the movies. Um, so it was really important to me to take that role of hope and, and expand it. And I worked really closely with Evangeline Lilly, and we had really, I think, we shared a lot of ideas about what her character could be and what her arc was in the movie. It's a very intimate story, a, very, a different kind of Marvel movie, and that was one of the things that appealed to me right off the bat. It's really about two fathers trying to repair their relationships with their daughters, and that's a, that's a really intimate story for a Marvel movie. I think it's not so much that I don't like 3D, I, I love what 3D can be. And now the technology, they're able to make the image brighter, that used to bug me that it was very, very dim, and now they're able to make it brighter. Uh, and also, this movie, I think, if there was ever a movie designed to be 3D, it's Ant-Man, because we're playing with issues of scale and perspective, and it's so suited to 3D, it really enhances it. You know, particularly the first time that, that Scott Lang shrinks down in the movie, he's standing in a bathtub, and I take the camera, we go down with him, and we wrap around, and, and in 3D, that's, it's crazy.